Is it fair to call you a sausage eating crank still? Sure, yeah. I, <laughs> sometimes in my modest times I say to the person who's going to introduce me, just something simple, don't you? It's not like maybe not since Mark Twain. <laughs> so I, I know you have a, a tendency to lean to the left. But I have to ask you, because you've written a few books now, and I have to wonder, back in 2004, were what? you secretly rooting for George Bush just for poetical gain? Um, actually, that was 2000 that I was rooting for him. I, um, I've often said that uh, for people in my line of work, something that might be unpleasant for the country. We think of the way dentists think of tooth decay. Um, it's a pity, but where would business be without it? Uh, but, um, his father's uh, administration was not good copy. Uh, it was kind of gray. Political cartoonists couldn't even tell them apart. You know, I mean, you, you tried to do a thing with the Attorney General, look like the Secretary of Treasury. I mean, they all look alike. And the only person we were left to make fun of was John Sununu, who... Who, who launched your deadline poetry career, did he not? He, I, 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 I'm not here to boast, but um, I do believe I'm the only poet who was inspired to poetry by John Sununu. <laughs> I believe it was Ed Rollins, the Republican political consultant, who said that John Sununu was a lesson in the perils of telling your child that he has a high IQ. <laughs> um, you, you have retained your, your roots to some extent because you do rhyme Michigas in, in, in some poems. I think with Mike Huckabee, we said, oh, we forgive him that, e mucho mas, <laughs> his Bible thumping Michigas. <laughs> That's right. Um, uh, and I did a poem when, when the, with the breakup of Yugoslavia originally, which was, uh, Croatians are the good guys now, although their past is somewhat shady, so worry not that these same guys chased both your Bubby and your Zadie. <laughs> uh, I recall the, the Lenny Bruce notion that everybody from New York City is Jewish, even if they're not a Jew. Right. And everybody who's not from New York is not a Jew, even if they right. are Jewish. Right. <laughs> But you are right. Jewish and from Kansas City. Right. Which I'm trying to figure out. I met somebody from Duluth once. I met her in Israel. And, and she said the Jews in Duluth refer to themselves as God's frozen people. <laughs> uh, 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 Yiddish is such an interesting language. Uh, and one time I, I saw a real English Yiddish dictionary, I mean a serious one. And, and I opened it up out of curiosity, and I came to the word mis, which is ugly. Mis kites an ugly person. The definition is one, ugly. Two, beautiful. <laughs> I mean, that's a great language.